Where are we going? So this is where I keep most of my handmade dresses in my closet. Um, doesn't look like much, but I think there are about like 10 dresses in here. Uh, this one is my uh, Reglise dress that is a pattern by Deer and Doe, and I made it over the summer. It's a really gorgeous Liberty fabric, but unfortunately it has gotten absolutely nowhere over the summer, and I think that's because of the color. It's a gorgeous print, but it's honestly too light for my liking. I usually gravitate towards more dark colors, like grays and blacks, um, so... Emily gave me the idea to over dye it. So I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna over dye this beautiful dress. I know it might be an unpopular opinion, but if it means that I'll get more wear out of it, I think it'll be a really good idea. So let's have some, let's have some more dyeing fun. So this is the dye that I got. Uh, it's called Eye Dye. I've never used it before. Uh, I purchased it from dharmatrading.com. Uh, that's that's where I get my acid dyes for dyeing my yarn, but they also sell a bunch of other dyes too for other fabrics. The dress that I'm going to be dyeing is 100% cotton, so we, we, we're good on that. Um, so I just have to read the directions in the background and we should be good. Really professional setup here, guys. <laughs> I'm in the dye dungeon where I normally dye my, my yarn. However, uh, after reading the packet on the, on the fabric dye, uh, unlike dyeing yarn where you use citric acid to bind the dye to the yarn, uh, this says that I have to use non-iodized salt. Non-iodized salt for cotton and linen or vinegar for silk. silk. And since my dress is cotton, we're gonna go with non-iodized salt. Thankfully, I found this in the spice cabinet. So it's sea salt. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some fancy dyeing. So, all right, fingers crossed. Let's hope this works out and I don't ruin some nice Liberty fabric. <laughs> Okay, I'm a little nervous because I think I might have been a little too heavy-handed on the dye. I only put in half the pack, but I still think it went a little overboard. You might be able just to see like the flower patterning still. So I, I, I still have, I still have high hopes. But for now, I just have to let it simmer for another maybe 20 minutes and stir, and then I will remove it. I definitely used way too much more dye than I should have, but <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at home right now, like, Kristen, what the hell did you just do? Um, but you know what? I'm gonna get so much more wear out of this than I would have had I not dyed it. Again, this is still wet, it's not dry yet, but I still really love the effect. I think I'm gonna toss this in the regular washing machine uh, with some detergent, and maybe, maybe it'll rinse out some of the excess dye and it'll lighten up even more, but, um, yeah, this this was fun. Okay, guys, apologies for the crap lighting, but uh, here's what my dress looks like after after it's been dyed. It's a little darker than I planned it to be, um, and the other thing that I'm not too thrilled about is the stitching. And the reason why the stitching didn't take the dye is because it's synthetic. So the dye was meant for natural fibers like cotton and silk and linen, and the thread the thread is actually just synthetic so like plastic so it didn't um unfortunately take the dye but you know it's such a small detail uh i'm not gonna let that bother me i also thought about taking off the buttons and re-sewing them back on with some black thread but i feel like it might make it look more unintentional than the white stitches already make it look if that makes any sense again it's a little darker than i had hoped it to be but at the same time i really love the effect that uh, the gray has with the the flowers and this is going to get so much more wear than it would have 
had I not died over it. So Emily, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you so much for this awesome suggestion. Uh, it's so cool, you guys. It's Seriously, it's making my goth heart sing right now. It's just so awesome. So I'm looking forward to getting some photos of this and you know, getting more wear out of it. So yay. And again, apologies for the crap lighting, but I, I hope this was a fun video for you guys. And yeah, dying, over dying clothes that you don't normally wear. I mean, such a great idea. So anyway, I'm gonna go make dinner now and call it a night uh, because I've got work tomorrow. So bye.